Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needed a performance from his players today against Jose Mourinho's Tottenham Hotspur, and my did he get it. Over the 90 minutes, United 2-1 winners in a match which meant so much to Solskjaer and to United. You saw it throughout the whole game. United were fighting until the 90th minute, and we came out 2-1 winners in a game where I genuinely expected United to get pumped. Exactly the same as Liverpool. I went in massively pessimistic about the football and United proved me wrong. That first 35 minutes prior to Spurs equalising was one of the best 35 minutes I've seen from United against a top team since Fergie. It wasn't just controlled, it was dominant. And Marcus Rashford was the catalyst for all of that. He took a snapshot in the sixth minute. Yes, Gazaniga probably should have saved it. But Rashford's smart decision to take a shot, just a chance, and it went in. And United turned that early dominance into a 1-0 win. And that was one of my biggest fears going into the game, was Mourinho coming out United very fast. Because he knows the weaknesses of this team. He managed this team. So he was going to come out fast, get that 1-0 lead, and sit in a low block. And the game would have been horrendous to watch. Instead, United controlled the game. All credit to Marcus Rashford, who was the player of the match by some distance. Arguably his best ever performance in a United shirt. It's a shame that he missed that shot towards the end for the hat-trick. Would have capped a brilliant night for him. But at a time where United needed leaders and people to step up, that was a talismanic performance from Rashford. And he's had so many doubters this year, but he turned up with that goal. And the penalty in the second half, the best penalty personally I think I've seen him take. I don't know, he's had better ones into the top corners, but it was so cool, so composed into the bottom right-hand corner. And that gave United the edge in the second half. I was worried about United going into that second half because we've seen from this team that we've had leads and we've lost leads on way too many occasions. Wolves, Rochdale, oh Christ, there's like four or five games. Arsenal, I think, as well. Too many to remember. But tonight we didn't. And that goal from Rashford, that penalty, was so composed, as I said. And Spurs still came at United. Defensively, I have to talk about the goal that we conceded. The ball spins into the air, and Fred and Young are challenging Deli Ali. Wonderful touch by Deli Ali, but absolutely no way against a smart defence does that touch lead to a goal. Ashley Young decides to just run after the ball, even though Fred's right there. Should have stayed in position. First mistake. Second mistake, what are Lindelof and Maguire doing letting Fred challenge for that header? They should be the, as central defenders, go just fucking dominate. Get that header, clear it. Instead, they let Fred try and do it. Same sort of thing as what happened against Bournemouth and Josh King. Just shit defending. Really bad from United. And we deserved it from that moment of madness, but that undermined the 35 minutes that we had in that first half. And I thought it was going to sting us for the rest of the game. But it didn't. United held on. Solskjaer made some questionable mistakes, I think, in his sub. Maybe not mistakes, we won 2-1, but questionable subs. Pereira coming on. Shaw coming on. But what I want to say now is everybody needs to get behind Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I've sat quietly in the background whilst this weird sort of twisted divide has been happening on United Twitter between those backing Solskjaer and those not backing Solskjaer. And some weird fucking United fans, I'm going to say in inverted commas because they're not United fans, wanted us to lose today to speed up the process to Poch. I understand if you're frustrated about what's going on at United right now because performance-wise, we're just not there. I'll tell you what, it feels very Louis van Gaal in the fact that we can turn up in these big games. Beaten Leicester. Drew against Liverpool. Beaten Chelsea twice. Beaten Spurs. We can turn up in these games. And it does strike me as a... I worry that Solskjaer is instilling an underdog mentality into the players and in the situations where they're not expected to perform. They outperform themselves. But the situations where they are expected to perform, as United players, they can't handle that sort of pressure. It's a different sort of pressure in football and there's still so much to learn for these players and for Oligan and Solskjaer as well. But anybody wanting the United to lose needs to get in the bin and just go and support somebody else. Because as long as Solskjaer is my manager, I will support him. And I'll support the process that we're going towards and we're going on. Today could have been the, the curtain half closing on Solskjaer. Had we put in a terrible performance against Mourinho Spurs at Old Trafford, 
the calls would have got louder and louder and louder. Instead, everybody performed. The team performed. McTominay coming back into that midfield was an absolute colossus. And I don't get that people would try and think that he's our best midfielder. And when he's in our team, and when he's not in our team, we are two completely different football teams. That's how bad our midfield is overall, and how important McTominay is to us. But today for me, going into the game, I felt that Mourinho had too much as a manager, had too much experience, personal experience of Old Trafford and this United team to come to Old Trafford and lose the game. Instead, United went on the front foot. Mason Greenwood started up front. Great call from Solskjaer. Horrendous call to start Ashley Young, though. Let's call that up. Get that guy out of the team. And then Shaw came on towards the end, so maybe Brandon Williams had a niggle or maybe Solskjaer has taken him out of the spotlight after a bit of a mistake against Villa. It might have been that. But United today against... Ah! It's just a great result. And it was against Spurs, by the way. United against Spurs, that was a very, very nervy 15 minutes towards the end of that. And I thought, oh, we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again like we did against other teams this season. Can't even bloody remember at this point. But United won. Solskjaer needed that win. United fans needed that win. And just fucking back Solskjaer whilst he's the manager. Stop calling for Poch. I still stand by the idea that Poch in the summer is the right move for United. No matter what happens really between now and the end of the season, unless Solskjaer turns into a miracle maker for the next six, seven months, you can't not get Poch in the summer. But stick by Solskjaer. Stick by the plan that we're doing at the moment. And if United can do that against Spurs, why can't we turn up against City? But we have to turn those performances against the big teams into the performances against the little teams. That's something that we still haven't cracked yet. And that's still down to Solskjaer and his management. But what a fucking win that is against Mourinho. Sorry, Jose. You won us the Europa League. You won us the League Cup. But could not be happier to see you lose at Old Trafford. United 2-1 winners. Who was your man of the match? I mean, for me, it's Rashford. Could there be anybody else? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But support Solskjaer, man. Support your manager. That's what we should all be doing right now as United fans.